Pericardium is going to be the outer covering of the heart. This can prevent friction. Um, that's not something you need to be able to identify on the actual heart though. And if we're going to follow the flow of blood first, we're going to start off from the body going into the superior vena cava. It's this artery or this uh, vessel right here. It's going to drain into the right atrium, which is this chamber right here. From the right atrium, we're going to travel down the tricuspid valve and into the right ventricle. In the right ventricle, we can see uh, these network of muscles called trabeculae right here. This is the trabeculae. This is, uh, these are still muscles, but these are different than the myocardium. Myocardium make up the walls and the septum. Trabeculae make up the network inside the uh, ventricles, and the pectinate muscles make up inside the atria. We'll get to that again in a second. So we have blood that is deoxygenated in the right ventricle, and it's going to go to the lungs to get oxygenated. So it's going to go there, passing through the pulmonary semilunar valve, and out the pulmonary artery right here, where my fingers passing through. That's the pulmonary artery. Semilunar valve, anything that's a semilunar valve means it's a valve that's traveling away from the heart. So from the right ventricle, we go through this uh, pulmonary semilunar valve out to the pulmonary artery to the lungs to get oxygenated. And then we have oxygenated blood traveling back down the pulmonary vein. And the pulmonary vein is going to go right in here. And it's going to drain into the left atrium. It's the left chamber up here. Inside here we can see this network of muscles I mentioned earlier called the pectinate muscles. These are the uh, network of muscles inside the atria. Okay. From the left atria, we're going to travel down the bicuspid valve, also called the mitral valve, uh, into the left ventricle. These right here are chordae tendinae, also called they're called your heart strings. If you ever hear uh, that euphemism being used. Um, and here's some more trabeculae in there. These points of attachment at the chordae tendine right here, right here, these are called papillary muscles. Okay. So this oxygenated blood that's sitting here in the ventricle needs to get pumped to the rest of your body. That's why the left side is so much bigger because it has to pump to the entire body. And it's going to do that by passing through the aortic semilunar valve because it's going away from the heart through the aorta. This aorta was cut in half, but normally this would come around right here. So this is the aorta and that's the rest of the body. And that's the heart.